Okay. All right. So I mentioned in the last video that there was a couple Pokemon that kind of were inspired by the Mario Brothers, basically, against Shigeru Miyamoto, against Satoshi Tajiri, if you didn't know, was a big Nintendo fan, was a big Shigeru Miyamoto fan. And so later on, he found out he'd actually be working with them, you know, because he'd actually be helping them out because he had an idea that he liked. So he backed them up on it. And uh, sure enough, it, it turned out to be a great success. So there was a couple Pokemon. One of them was a blooper, and then it eventually evolved into a uh, giant kraken squid. And then there was another one that uh, was a was a cheap, like you know, like the little fish. But this one was kind of like a, it had arms and legs, sort of. So it was like a fish out of water. And then you uh, could uh, what else? Uh, there was a lot of cool things. Um, they scrapped, all these Pokemon were eventually scrapped, though, because I imagine they probably, they already had a jellyfish Pokemon again, you know, Tentacool in this case, and then, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if you want to say, like, I mean, I, I, I do believe they could have kept them. I, I think really they should have kept them because, they, you know, they were kind of like Mario references, but they also probably figured, well, you know, what Pokemon are they really based on, you know, because that was kind of the other idea. So, I, I think they really just kind of voted them out, though, because, you know, cartridge limitations and all that. So, I don't know, like, maybe maybe that might have been the reason, maybe there was another reason, but there was definitely a lot of good ideas they had, though. So, it'll be interesting to see how that works. But, anyways, I do think that, you know, they the, the Pokemon themselves actually... Um, I'm trying to think, like, they, they didn't really look like anything I could think of off the top of my head. I'd have to do some editing, but, um, basically, I would say they were definitely inspired by Mario, but more or less they had, a, there were some attacks they had. One of them was, like, for example, like, the one that Cheap that would evolve into, it, it was like a Pokemon, like, Jabat or something like that. It was like a Pokemon that they, they'd fight under under the water and all that, and they damage coral reefs and stuff. And so they basically it was kind of like something like out of like uh, like uh, what was his name uh, Aquaman. It'd be like something like that where like you know you have a bunch of uh, creatures fighting each other over uh, over nothing, or just fighting over territories and all that, and the, the, even the land would get destroyed and all that, but mostly underwater reefs and all that. <laughs> You also had, uh, what else, um, big giant squids and all that, you know, because you're, like, out in the ocean, sort of, because Japan's surrounded by, you know, ocean water, and, uh, so basically, and they also had maws, which was supposed to be Jagu or Jaws, basically, where they got that idea. The only place you could find it is out in the ocean, and a big giant steel shark, sort of, thing's huge. That would have been interesting, but, uh. Yeah, that's interesting how they how they figured that out. Okay, so anyways, the Krakens and all that. Um, but I, I do think, though, that um, if they would have kept the uh, the Pokemon in the game, I do think that they would have just kept them in, like, right around Cinnabar Islands area-ish. You know, you you do find, like, squids and, you know, because you're always running into tentacles and maybe tentacles every once in a while, but eventually you run into something different, you know. So it's like a fish out of water, basically. Obviously, you, you only find these Pokemon while surfing, and it's possible that maybe you would have found them. You, you definitely would have found them, like, later on, in the um the pokemon um like the sylph league and all that or not the sylph league the uh the uh the elite four like what the uh, additional eight dungeon floors you had to crawl through because they were like every floor was based on like an area you've already been to at one point and some of these pokemon were wild but it kind of makes me wonder you know how is it that would make sense that you're going around trying to catch some of these pokemon and like they like, you know, you're, you're trying to catch some of these Pokemon, like they're out of water. So how does that make sense? Or, or even, here's here's another one for you. That's, and, and it might have still been under reconstruction, but like, there was even one part later on where like, you know, you could catch like, without even the Silt Co. Like, you go to the Poke Tower where you need this, if you don't have the Silt Scope, you can't catch the Ghost Pokemon. But it's like, I could go to the Lavender Town version of the Silt because some of the floors that were based on some of the areas, one of them was Pokemon Tower, and you could catch Ghastly's, Haunters, 
Marowax, uh, Cubones, like, um, I think Guardia was there too. You could catch Nine Tails, you could catch Volpix, and you didn't need a Silt Scope because the funny thing was, even though it was a Pokemon Tower, like, and, 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 but they were all like ghost like Pokemon that dealt with like death and all that, you know. So it, it kind of was screwed up in a way, and there were tombstones there and everything. So it kind of makes me wonder how that would have worked. Like, but then again, you know, you got fish out of water, so they're, they're like bloopers, and they're like the Krakens, they're, 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 you got the cheeps, the, the fish, and then they can, they got arms, they got legs, they can fight, you know, it's, it, it's interesting, it really is, how they created this series, you know, even if it is just, it doesn't have to make sense, you know, or it could be Nintendo logic for you, <laughs> it's part, part to you by Pokemon logic, <laughs> you know. But it just, you know, it had its moments, though. So that's what made it more enjoyable, was trying to figure this stuff out. You know, how did they figure that out, you know? But, yeah, it is interesting to see how many ideas they scrapped due to cartridge limitations. But they, it would be interesting. Like, they were, if I remember correctly, they, they were just water-type Pokemon. Except for, I think, the one that, I think the cheap evolved in a Jabba, Jabbit. However you pronounce it, it was uh, it was a fighting water type, if I remember correctly, because it obviously was. But it um it had its moments though. Uh, as for the the water Pokemon, I think it was just a water Pokemon. The Kraken, the Krakens were definitely just water. I don't even, I don't even think it was a poison type, but it was interesting though. One one of the attacks it actually learned was Ink Spray, and believe it or not, it was actually an attack that uh, was scrapped from the game. Um, it, you know, because a lot of Pokemon moves were you know, scrap from the game. I don't know what that move would have done, but it, it was interesting though. Um, like, no, I, I don't even know what, uh, I don't even remember what its effect was, but it was interesting though. It definitely sounded like it was recycling Yu-Gi-Oh sound effects though, sort of. And, um, they were still in the final version of the game. Uh, you could like, if you use acid and you listen to the, uh, the sound effect it makes, it makes a really interesting sound effect. But it is interesting how they collaborated that into the game. I do honestly think, though, that as time went on, they probably realized that these ideas could have worked, but they just, again, were, they scrapped it for other reasons. But I'm starting to think that if they really did recycle it into another Pokemon, first of all, we'd have to figure out what other Pokemon can you think of that's like a giant squid um, or another Aqua-like Pokemon. I do think maybe they could have recycled them. But somebody was asking me a while ago, like, what Pokemon, like Jabba, for example, uh, what kind of Pokemon would it have been related to? And you know what? That's a really good question. I'm not really sure, actually. Um, um, I, I'd have to look into that. That That is actually very interesting. I, I, I'd like to know what the cheap fish was even based off of in Mario, you know? Yeah, it might have been its, you know its own Pokemon, but at the same time, though, what should, what, like, where did Shigeru Miyamoto get some of the ideas, you know, aside from his imagination, of course, but, you know, what, what inspired him, you know, like, because again, you, you really, like, once you start digging into these people's past life and all that, some of these ideas start to come, you're like, oh, I can see where he got that idea from now, but it's like, as far as Mario goes, that, that was always one of my favorite animals, but like, I always wondered where, like, they got that idea from, you know, the, um, yeah, the bloopers, the cheeps, the, and, I mean, the Mario universe as well as, like, combine it with, like, Koji Kondo's, like, uh, musical uh, compositions, and, I mean, you'd be surprised, like, a lot of the stuff they came out with was just phenomenal, man, like, uh, it really does make me wonder, like, you know, like, it's no wonder Nintendo actually really got far with a lot of the ideas they had, because they had the right people, you know, they, they, really did have the imagination and they weren't afraid to like try to expand it or, or add on to it. It just made it work somehow. And it, it, and it got them far, you know, people to this day, like even 30 years later, people still want to know how Nintendo did it. You know, it's, it's remarkable how Nintendo went from like, you know, they employed the people they did. And at the same time though, they just like their history of like being a card company. That's just where it led them. And they were just here and there. <laughs> So it got the, it must have been doing them some good because you know somebody had an idea that worked, and they didn't give up on it. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I, I definitely would think um, they did get a lot of the ideas. In this case, were de directly from Mario, and they definitely wanted to because again, Shigeru Miyamoto did two things here. If you didn't already know this, he actually convinced the higher ups to 
convince Satoshi Tajiri's idea that it was really good. And he actually gave the funding for it too. Because what happened was Game Freak was running out of money for the funding of Pokemon at the time. So they so Shigeru Miyamoto being obviously being successful at this point, you know, so he had a say in the company, again Nintendo of Japan. And so he basically said, Well, we'll put him on another project. So they made Yoshi's Cookie, Game Freak. And I, I've played it. It's it's a pretty simple game. But it's uh I mean I I do play it every now and again. I think it's a it's it's a fun game. And um so it's uh you know not not bad for a puzzle game, but it's um it literally did make it did make them uh, more money than they knew what to do with. So they were like, here, you know, we'll throw this in the Pokemon budget, and there you go. They basically were able to finish the game they wanted due to, again, cartridge limitations. and But they still did have a game at the point, and then they obviously made a lot of money off that because they pushed it in that direction. So I thought that was pretty cool how uh, they managed to turn that around. But yeah, a lot of the ideas that they had, they had a lot of ideas that were scrapped, but what they would have reworked them into, that's debatable, because even I still don't know 100% what some of these ideas, heck, we, we got some of these ideas are still missing, but we'll, we'll just keep looking for it, if we could find it, we'll just make more videos about it, but again, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, hopefully this kind of like gives you a little insight of like what these Pokemon were, but yeah, basically more water Pokemon than were scrapped though.